Hi, and welcome to My Week. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Christy McDonald. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday. We're taking some time out with our families, but we'd like to bring you tonight some important conversations we had this year about things impacting our lives here in Michigan, including education and gun control. But we're going to start tonight with a look at the people of Flint. It has been more than a year since the discovery of dangerously high levels of lead in the city's water supply after a disastrous switch to water from the Flint River. Flint became a national symbol of infrastructure problems and government oversight. A primary debate was held in Flint. It became a must stop for presidential candidates. But still, in December 2016, the people of Flint can't safely drink from the tap without filters. Money has slowly come from the state and now Congress for pipe improvements, but the lasting physical and psychological damage in Flint lingers. Tonight, we have a special report from the Detroit Free Press and journalists Brian Kaufman and Ryan Garza. It's a look at the people of Flint trying to get by in this past year. Skip drinking the water. Come live here. Live what, what we're living. Militarily, if you want to get rid of the indigenous population, then you cut off the supplies that they need every day. And that's what it feels like. We have to take away the baby toy area from the basement to build a water tower just so we can have enough supply for our everyday living. When we go get water, it takes a whole day. Like, that whole day, we can't do anything else. We have to just get water for that day. They giving out bottled water, 16 ounces. Do you know how many waters that is for a bath? You go to the fire station, they only want to give you one case of water. And they're not doing any deliveries. You know who's doing deliveries? We are. The residents, the sick people here, are delivering to people who don't have it. When I've had a long day and I just want to come home and eat, and I'm like starving, and it's like, oh, no, she still has to cook. It's like a whole long process just so you can have a nice fresh salad. And I love my salad. Everybody running around wondering, can I get some more water? When am I run out? You don't want to live like that. That's stress on the heart. My dad, he's 93. We've been here since 53. Been paying diligently until I told him to stop. Not paying for bad water. What is bad water worth? Nothing. I don't even trust to have running water in my house no more. I'm terrified of it. I live here off a bottle of water. Eight to 10 cases of water a day. No, it's more than that. You wouldn't want to live like this. No, this is hard to explain. You know, this is, words can't explain this. I'm exhausted. I am. Some, some days, I don't even want to get up because it's too much. It's too much on me. But I look at my daughter, and that's what keeps me going because I got to do it for her because she's helpless. So that's my motivation. She likes to play in water. She always has since she's been born. And to take it all away within months and have to put fear into a child to tell her you can't play with the water or you'll get sick and you may die, that's not fair. So we just keep going day by day.
term says if you're black, you have to fight two times harder than everybody else. These kids are going to have to fight 30 times harder than everybody else because their brain functionality is so different. They're not going to have the opportunity to even have a good start. Which then reminds me of the fact everybody says, why don't you just move? I've actually been called a horrible mother because we're still here. Well, poison water does not increase the resale value of a home. We put everything we had into this house. It's not a big house, not a fancy house, but it's our house. It doesn't do us any good now. We can't sell it. Are you going to buy it? We don't have a choice. We're stuck. I own my home. I was content here. I was happy. I had the house next door. I just bought this house. This is home. This is home, man. That's all I got. We got family. We just try to take care of family, that's all. We, as Flintstones, we know how to put our own band-aids on. We know how to, you know, how to work our problems out. We just need to get more unified and stop the madness that's going on behind all this water crisis. I have people saying, hey, do you guys still need water up there? How's everything going? I hear it's better. That's horrifying. since we switched back to Detroit, our water's safe. That is a huge misconception, even here in Flint. People are like, oh, we switched back, it's okay. No, the pipes were so destroyed and full of bacteria, full of all of this scale and buildup and everything. They can put out the best water from Detroit, the cleanest water, and it doesn't matter. I mean, even people who don't know all the science and all the data, they know that they're burning, that their water smells like chemicals or sewer. I mean, we can connect the dots. We're, I mean, we got the lead up here in the brain, but we're not completely stupid. The first thing they need to do is they need to replace the entire infrastructure, not just the lead service lines. All the service lines need to go. The city's mains need to go. Start from one end and go all the way to the other end and fix all the pipes. I don't mind donating some time, some muscle to dig. I'll get out there with the shovel. We ain't got time to wait on y'all to make a decision. I want some action now. And fix it to where we can have our lives back. Now, in the end, thinking about the faith and the trust they're gonna have in the water, that's another issue. What's the prognosis? Not very good. I'm not gonna drink it. I have a water filtration system and I don't drink that. Get me to trust the water, like, I, could, I just couldn't do it. It's definitely not going to be just wiped away. This isn't a tear on your face. What's going to happen to all the kids in 10 years? Who's going to take care of them? Who's going to pay the medical bills for all the parents? Who's going to work the jobs here in Flint when the people in 10 years are too sick to work them? And nobody is even addressing that situation at all. At all. Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette announced more charges just before Christmas in connection with the water switch. Again, our thanks to Brian Kaufman, Ryan Garza, and the Detroit Free Press.